Number 26. Convert the values of Kc to values of Kp or the values of Kp to values of Kc. And then we have letter D uh, out of this bunch of number 26. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite the balance equation a little bit bigger. So we have H2O, liquid, and this comes to equilibrium with H2O gas. Okay. So they gave us a Kp value in this case. So we have a Kp value. And in this case, we have to convert this to a Kc, right? Kp to Kc. Now, whenever we say the word convert, we always think of dimensional analysis and ratios. But not this time. It's easier. Thank goodness there's a formula. Yes. So there's one formula that you have to remember that has Kc and Kp in it in one shot. It's this formula right here. So I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. We're going to mark it up on the left-hand side, and then we'll do the math on the right-hand side. So let's work from left to right and just fill in all the variables that we have, right? So they told us that we had a Kp value of 0.196, so that's this number right here. We're looking for the Kc value, so I'm just going to label that as x. And now we should know the Rt and the delta N gas. Let's start with the R value. The R value is the universal gas constant. It's a constant value. If you're using this formula, the R value is always going to be 0.0821. We use this number anytime that we're dealing with pressures. We use 8.314, which is another R value, if we're using energy. Since it's no talking about energy here, it's the 0.0821. T stands for temp, but it's got to be in Kelvin. They give us 60 degrees Celsius. So I have to convert 60 degrees Celsius into Kelvin. Now how do we do that? We know that, right? All you got to do is just plus 273. So 60 plus 273 is 333. So that's this number right here. And now delta N gas, right? So that's kind of new. I kind of wrote down what the formula is over here. Delta N, remember, delta just means change. So it has to be something minus something else. In this case, we're doing the moles of the gas of the products minus the moles of the gas of the reactants. Remember, N is the letter used to signify moles. But we're being very specific. It has to be only gas. So go back to your balance equation and see where your gases are in the balanced equation. But looky here. This H2O is a liquid. Can I use this? Absolutely not. It's not a gas. Get rid of the whole thing. Here I have a gas, though, so I have to take that into consideration. Now let's find out what the number of moles are. That's pretty easy. It's just the coefficient values. But I didn't see a coefficient for the H2O gas. But remember, that just means that I have one, right? So I have one mole total of the gas on the product side. I have no gases on my reactant side, so that's a big fat zero. And then it's products minus reactants. Products was one minus the reactant, which was zero. So this is a delta N of one. So you're just going to raise everything to the first power. Now we have everything. Let's actually do the math. So 0 0.196 equals the Kc, which we said was x. And then we have r times t, so 0 0.0821 times 333. And that's all raised to the first power. And remember, anything that you raise to the first is the same. So technically, I don't even have to do this. Whatever this number is, that's what it's going to be after you raise it to the first. So let's see. I got 0 0.196. And this equals the Kc value. And now let's just do that multiplication. So 0 0.0821 times 333. I get 27.3393. And raised to the first would be the same number. Now I just need to solve for x. So I'll just divide by 27.3393. On both sides, 27.3393 
get rid of this, say bye bye. And now let's see, we finally get an x value, which is the kc value. So let's see what it is. 0.196 divided by that answer. And I'm going to keep it three sig figs because this was three sig figs. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put it in scientific notation. 7.17 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3. Negative 3. And there you go. Okay. Woo. These were fun. What'd you think? Just one formula. Just knowing how to use it. And we're good. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. And yeah, let's keep studying hard. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.